show, everyone. people to It Takes Two, the musical. Uh, Joe and AJ back with their gorgeous partners later. And the gorgeous Pixie Lot for being my voice yeah. double there. Yeah. She'll be back with more of her beautiful voice for you later in the show. Also coming up tonight, Dick and Dom and Mel Gedroich yeah. bring some showbiz yeah. to the Friday panel. I just want to shout bogeys. Uh, Diane takes centre stage for the Strictly Pro Challenge. Ooh. And judging Supremo, Darcy Bustle answers your questions. Oh, yeah. So much to squeeze in. But first, Strictly will be heading to the musicals in just 25 hours, Ooh. two minutes and four seconds. And as ever, our leading man, Gethin Jones, has been drawn in by the bright lights of Elstree and the promise of backstage gossip. Mm. Welcome back to the Strictly Ballroom where the stage is being set for the greatest show on earth. Well, since Blackpool anyway. Rehearsing at the moment are David and Najat. They, of course, are doing an Argentine tango to the Phantom of the Opera. So let's take a look behind the mask. That looks good, doesn't it? Truly smouldering stuff. Now, as our leading men and ladies prepare for musical nights, I'm going to be behind the curtain in the wings, ready to bring you the latest for the quarter final. I'll see you a bit later. Thank you, gorgeous Gethin. Bravo. He'll reprise his role as man backstage and strictly later on in the show. Beard looking fine. Time now to welcome my first guests of the evening. Last Saturday, they scaled a New York skyscraper to top the leaderboard for the very first time. Some people will go to any lengths. It's Joe and Katya. Everything was absolutely spot on. I love that hopping round step you did. When you took your hands and put them behind your back, it was superb! It was clean, it was light. In fact, stupendous, darling. I'm There's keeping my no cane. Keep that cane. <laughs> it suits you. <laughs> Catch you. your outfit it's so beautiful. much. Amazing. It's Friday, uh, isn't what, it? What it is Friday. Party show. We like to make an effort. What a quick step. Construction <laughs> work has never looked so good, oh, yes. I have to say. Um, how was your foray into manual labour? It was Joe? good. Well, my, my family are all builders, so it must be in the DNA. It sort of suited me so high. <laughs> that's, that's why it went so well. So I have to say, congratulations. In the Tens Club again. And for the yeah. first time this series, top of the leaderboard for yeah. Joe. How was the view from up there? It's a lovely, lovely position. If that catch you hanging, please. We weren't in shorts, so I'm not giving you a ten. Uh, uh, yeah, it was a great position to be in, but I said to Katya that night, I was like, I know I can only enjoy it for one day because on Monday morning you're yeah. straight back to the grindstone again. And it doesn't mean a thing, you know, it don't mean a if thing. If it ain't got that, it ain't got that. Because, yeah, you're starting again on Monday and yeah. you're only as good as your last dance and there's still a long way to go, hopefully. I think it's more scary because they expect so much. I know, they do. Yeah. It Joe, get are you looking do. more handsome than ever today? Or is it, is it the time? <laughs> well, it's Tan Friday. <laughs> it won't be the start tomorrow, yes, assure me. I like it. Um, uh, your harshest critics loved it. Ooh. Craig said, stupendous. Yeah. Shirley said, unbelievable. Mm, yeah. And Bruno wants you to build his extension. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm imagining, Katja, these are the kind of remarks you were dreaming of. Well, I'm happy you clarified, Zoe, because when, being a foreigner, when I heard Craig saying stupendous, <laughs> I thought it was something to be stupid. She didn't <laughs> what it meant and was. I went really oh. quiet, and I was like, "Oh, is yeah. it good or not?" It was a good thing. Okay, great. Yes. I really had to. <laughs> <laughs> you can see where that mistake could come. At. Um, Shirley also praised the mix of steps you put mm. in the catches. She was saying how clever you were. How impressed are you with Joe for picking this well, up now? <laughs> Yeah, I'll just enjoy it. No, this. I must <laughs> say, you know, we both know how hard the first few weeks were, yeah. and mainly 
on picking up the steps. Mm. You know, we had to drill it over and over and over again and you were getting a little bit stressed. But he's improved so much mm. on that subject that we're able now to learn so much quicker. We can get into more details and technique on Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, because he has, his brain's just, I think, gone so quick. <laughs> yeah, we watched some of the old dances back like the other yeah. day and I just thought, what are my feet doing? <laughs> they're like, they're like, they're they're flippers. like flippers, they're literally like flippers. flippers. And, and hopefully now, they've gotten slightly better. They are much but better. It doesn't get easier because the more you know, the more they expect yeah. you to know. And you did say one of your fittest part is the brain now, didn't you? Somebody Absolutely, asked. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. Yeah, I am going to keep dancing just for the brain more than anything else. Good idea. It's really good Keeps for you your head. It is. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm take note, people. Take note. <laughs> also, we all know that practice makes progress. That's uh, correct. That's life. Uh, <laughs> you had an interesting technique for teaching oh. Joe the steps last week. Take a look at this. Oh. I like fish and chips, kick it out and... I like fish and uh -uh. chips. I like fish and chips kick. Okay. I like fish and chips. So see, fish and chips, much quicker. Oh, okay. You see? It's because I prefer chicken and chips. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But if you said chicken and chips, that would, the beat <laughs> yes. would be completely yeah, off. Uh, any more interesting end. surprise methods uh, recently? Uh, not really, actually. Sort of just, I sort of, you, you say it now and I sort of vaguely know what you, what you mean. Yeah. A lot of the time. If I say <laughs> left, we know it's left. We know and where the left is now. It's only taken <laughs> 10 weeks. <laughs> but, I know you should have an week, L and an R on the There are Botafogos and there are, there are whisks yeah. and there are a whole oh, new yes. bunch of things. Well, before you get to that, I must read out this lovely message from one of your favourite fans. Uh, Faye Wolford wrote online, musicals, because of course it's musicals week, musicals I'd like to see Joe McFadden in. List. Guys and Dolls, <laughs> City of Angels, Cabaret, Company, wow. Mr. Spider-Woman, The Producers, Into the Woods, Assassins, Chicago, okay. wow. The Pajama Game, Promises, that Promises, is, I could go that on. That is a big Please list. Don't, Faye, Faye we're Wilford out of time. Should be, but she should be my agent. She should be. Your agent's craking now. That'll uh, keep me busy. Care to put Faye out of her misery. I would love to do cabaret. It's a show that I've always Oh, you are? To, yeah, and we, and we are this How week. How handy. It was, Here's it was amazing music. to do it. Listen. Yeah. It's a nice light. Go around the world. Go around the world. So it's great. It's a brilliant, brilliant show because it, he's such a complex, brilliant character because he's friendly, but he's also really manipulative Just and, like and really dark. <laughs> Thanks for that. Learning uh, something every but, day. Yeah, yeah, any of those shows would be amazing to do. The producers Fantastic. or... Yeah, oh, you've, st you've stepped into a bit of, um, you know, musical theatre, haven't you? Done little bits of singing, yeah, yeah in the past. Uh -huh. So have you managed to teach Katya anything this week? Um, yeah. Well, little, actually... Little bits, actually. Yeah, sort of the narrative the of the basis, song. Well, it's, it? There's so much going on in that song. Yeah. It's, it's such a great number because it's all about kind of surviving and, and back then in Berlin at that time if you yeah. didn't have money then it wasn't a good story for you so it's yeah there's a lot you can play. Like, what do you think that means? Which face does that you know we work together <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, I'm yeah, teaching you know how to overact basically. Uh, perfect. <laughs> uh, let's have a look here you are in training. Oh, no. How has it been going? Is it going to be all oh, extra dances? And everything? Yes. Is it going to be showstopper catch you? Well, I hope it won't stop our show. I'll yeah. put it this way. I yeah. think it is. It's it's the character is suits him perfectly mm. yeah and that's what musicals is about we've got to sell that character and yeah. i know some people might say that it's a funny combination doing samba to that song it's really you know? not actually but it's, it's really a, not it once it. we've I know, done it looking really at that bounce, fits it. Looking at Bodo they're looking good Joe. Yeah, yeah 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 all the bouncing <laughs> it's remembering to do the bouncing it's, it's, it's a funny one the samba's a strange one it is a strange you've got one. to do all the steps but you've got to keep and you've got to go forwards time. back side to side it's it's i love it though it's, it's great it. if it goes well it's 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 a good it's a good great number as well fab number yeah i'm more than happy with the number and you look gorgeous with that tan i love it good luck <laughs> tomorrow to Joe and Katya! Yeah. Uh, time now for an exclusive preview of this weekend's group number, which will see the Strictly pros turning into a right load of divas <laughs> for a change. I'm uh, just kidding. Take a look at this. I had a dream. I was singing in a group dance this week. Oh, that sounds more like a nightmare to me. Cheeky. Come on, we all know you've got a voice like an angel. I know. It's Musicals Week! So this week we're doing a number from Dream Girls, and the actual dancers are going to be accompanied by the West End singers from the actual musical. So we're going back to the mid-70s to the disco era, so it's going to really have a bit of a Studio 54 feel to it as well. I mean, there's everything. There's fast disco, there's lots of spins, there's lots of lifts, there's um, a big celebration of disco from that era. 
There's a mixture of hustle, some lovely, lovely ballroom steps. Gork and Jeanette are doing a lovely lyrical piece at the beginning. So it's going to be something for everyone, I think. Singing, dancing, acting, but at the same time, I mean, I mean. So I would say the most challenging part of this routine is it's full on. It's intense, it's high energy. We do not stop from start to finish. My favorite part of the dance is when we all come together and we're all doing a bit of a move like this. And it's just everyone's there, the energy is so high, I love it. Hope you've enjoyed this exclusive look at our Dream Girls group dance. And if you want to see more, make sure you tune in at the weekend. I like it a lot. Now, it wouldn't be Friday night here at It Takes Two without a panel of strictly super fans to talk sequins, fake tan, and all that jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, please give up for the Friday panel tonight a stunning ovation. Mel Gedroich, Dick and Dom, and Pixie Lord. <laughs> Stop dancing, never oh. stop dancing. Oh. Mel Gedroich and my uh, conductor extraordinaire there at the top of the show. Oh. You are a self-confessed, a strictly fanatic. Um, what have you thought of the series and how excited are you for Musicals Week? Now, do you remember when you were a kid and it yeah. was Christmas Eve? Mm. Yeah. And you all, yeah, and you almost felt like you wanted to throw up <laughs> you were with excitement. Yes, I know, exactly. I, it's Musicals Week. It's a special, I love a strictly special. I feel a dream. Adrenalized. Yes. And a bit of, word? And I don't know if it is, Richard. I think no We're all like feeling it. it now, though. And I feel emotional as yeah, well. I could cry at any moment. Oh. Or laugh like a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> Dick and Dom, welcome. Hello, welcome, thank boys. You. Thank you. Um, I always on. want to shout bogeys when I see you. No. Um, <laughs> you're huge fans as well. But yeah. have you ever been tempted to don the dancing shoes yourself? Well, there's a strange story behind this, actually. Yeah. Because back in 2004, was it? When Strictly started when it began, Series 1. Way back. Uh, yeah, we were asked to go on Series 1. <gasps> But the way it was sold to us was, this is come dancing with celebrities. We thought, that'll never work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we said no. We said no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Does that and mean you're off the Christmas card list? Well, I'm sure I, th I think we are officially happen. blacklisted. This is as close as we're ever going to get <laughs> to being on the main show. Words can be, actually, whilst you're here. Uh, your alter egos, Diddy Dick and Diddy Dom, <laughs> I'm reading that slowly, recently <laughs> met a man called Craig Revel Horwood for your new CBBC series, Diddy TV. We had to show you a clip. This is Craig, as you've never seen him before. This is amazing. Great. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're joined from Strictly Come oh. Dancing. He's one of the judges, Craig Revel Howard. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. He's called his darling. Yes. Now, some people think you're horrible, but we really like you. I'm adorable, darling. Look at me. I'm yes. Fab you. Oh, he's in the catchphrase. He's in the catchphrase. It's the best thing I've ever seen. Pixie Lotus oh. King. You got to this point in the competition all those years ago, three years ago, I think it was. How will the celebrities ago. be feeling now? Well, um, this is the last point I got to, yes. so I'm not really an expert of how to get any further, but... You should have. She was yes, robbed. She should have. Uh, she was robbed. Yeah. Um, I, I guess it's just every week is, is really nerve-wracking and yeah. tough because you just want it to be the best you've ever performed it and you've worked so hard, but... Each week is as hard as the next, but I do think the closer you get, the more you think, oh my gosh, I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there. Just like three weeks just away. Be there. Let's yes. have a look then in the training rooms and see how they're all doing. Gemma and Aliash, Mel, yes, they are doing a, a quick step to Hello Dolly. Oh. Um, is this looking swell to you, Mel? It most certainly is. She is really good. She's very nippy on her feet now, isn't yes, she? she is. And she likes a sort of... I'm only a viewer. What yeah. do I know? I'm not an expert. We all are. Yeah. But she's very good on the kind of speedier ones, I think, isn't she? Like it. Say, yeah. agree, yes, yes. Are we agreeing? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's spell Seth agree to anything. I, <laughs> I think she's yeah. going to absolutely nail this. I think I've she's going to win it. I am oh, team. Oh, oh, I team oh, oh, you now are. Well, I think she is the epitome of Strictly. Yeah. She is doing better each week. The judges yeah. keep saying that to her. She's just improving, listening to everything they're saying. Yeah. I think she's going to do it. Okay. Uh, let's talk 
talk about uh, Joe and Katya. They're going to do a samba. Oh, have a little look. Here they are. He's been called a dark horse. He's yeah. been called a unicorn. What would you call him? Uh, and he's dancing to cabaret. Just utterly jazz-tastic. I mean, uh, he's so good. Each week, just getting better and better and better. And I would say that because he stood over there. <laughs> Otherwise, he might be holding a stick. Um, <laughs> on to Alexandra and Gorka. Pixie, have a look mm. at this. They're dancing a Mary Poppins themed oh, Charleston. Mm -hmm. How is Love the, the swivel? How's the energy? Pixie, what do you think of these? Yes. It is all about the energy, isn't it, this dance? And you know, Craig, <gasps> always. Oh, look at that. The swivels. The swivels are on fire. Hi. Yes. That's really all it is. It's the swivels and like the energy and like just getting into the character. It's and it is. Yeah. It was one of my favourite dances. One of my most fun dances. So really, just enjoying it and getting into it. And is Gorka doing Dick Van Dyke? He is being Dick Van Dyke. Oh. He's got a stripy jacket. He's done the accent and everything. I it's <laughs> incredible. Hello, uh, it... baby. <laughs> <laughs> It's oh, uncanny. Well. Uh, if we're very lucky, this lot will be back for an encore later Good. in the show. For now, our Friday panel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Glorious. It's time now for another trip down the yellow brick road to Elstree, where earlier today my understudy, Gethin, was playing to sold out crowds and critical acclaim, of course. I'm here with two of your favourite diva dancers in Debbie and Gemma. Girls looking good, nice pyjama and. Yeah, yeah, dressing, it's a dressing gown. A dressing I'm gown. Freezing. The matching, the whole ensemble. Um, you tomorrow night, American Smooth, yeah. Memory, Cats. How are you feeling about it? Oh. Meow. Very good answer. <laughs> Is it looking good? Oh, well, it's feeling good. I haven't watched it myself, but yeah. it's feeling good. Feeling good? Okay, no, no, no. Okay, well, no, no, no. I'll do the cat jokes. You do the answers about right, the dancer. Yeah. Okay, good. Good idea. Yeah. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful dance. It's not flashy. I've got to be slow and controlled, so I mustn't get the giggles. Yeah. Um, but so far, I'm just loving doing it. Which you do. Um, both of you, uh, well, tell me, because they're not here, how are your partners feeling this week? How have they been? I feel like you've been looking after them a little bit this week. Yeah, Aliash, bless him. He's had a he's, he's he's choreographing so hard. He's really passionate about the choreography, Aliash, and he'll do it like all day Sunday. And then in, on on Monday when we rehearse it, if something's not right, he'll change it again. Mm. And I do love that about him. But sometimes I say to him, just relax. He's fine. We'll get it. It's absolutely fine. Um, but it's just because he cares so much about the dancing. And this week, as always, we've laughed so much. We've got a lovely dance. We've got extra dancers in this one as well. Yeah, how you get? I always wonder how. how that feels for the quick step of course it's good yeah it, it makes it a bit less um pressure i think because you feel like you're in a group dance you don't feel like it's just you two you're not as exposed nice, um so yeah i think it'll be a good one semi-final around the corner does that scare you or inspire you um don't think about it yeah it's just another week Gethin, it's just another yeah, week. Yeah, it's just week 11. I don't, Is that what you're saying to yourself? Yeah, yeah, genuinely, it's just week 11. Because you don't want to put pressure on yourself or expectations. It's funny, but the pressure is building. Yeah. But I wish you both the very best of luck tomorrow night. Thanks for chatting to us. Thanks. Thank you. Right now, it's time for a short interval from the school of shenanigans. Yes, there's one part of this show that we'd like to keep pure, and that is the Strictly Pro Challenge. Just in case you've been living under a rock, here's a reminder of the toughest dancing contest on television. Not the time, Reddo. <laughs> not the time, honestly. This year's Strictly Pro Challenge is heading back in time to the Roaring Twenties, where our pros will attempt to set a Guinness World Records title for the most Charleston swivel steps in 30 seconds. In order for the swivel step to qualify, our pros will have to complete one forward and one backward step. If there's no swivel in the feet and ankles, the step will be disqualified. This year's challenge will be the hardest our pros have ever faced, but only one person can claim the title. It's the Strictly Pro Challenge 2017. Oh, time to welcome our next contender. Born into a family of apple-picking champions, she grew up on an apple farm and spent the best days of her childhood picking, you guessed it, apples. <laughs> Let's hope she doesn't crumble under the pressure of her first pro challenge. It's Diane Boswell! <laughs> Missed you. Oh, Are you too. still a Devo for the Redo? 100% Devo for the Redo. I miss him dearly. <laughs> oh, I know. Good evening, Richard, if you are watching at home. I think he'll be watching to see how you get on. Uh, it's your first series of Strictly, but most importantly, 
your first pro challenge. Will everybody be talking about this back in Australia? My mum and dad have lost sleep over it. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I, I'm ringing them every day. I don't know the outcome yet, but tonight I'll be able to tell them. You will be. Yes. Um, some pros dream their whole lives of taking part in this challenge, I must tell you. Uh, did you train hard for this? I did. I'm not going to lie. I did. You know, I was, I was doing my shopping, swivelling. I was yeah. having a shower, swivelling. Good work. Yeah, so um, I did kind of take it a little seriously. OK, but, they, um, they all do. <laughs> we'll have a little look at the leaderboard and remind ourselves the state of play. Katya Jones has been on yes. top all week. You may be able to hear her in the background. Do you have what it takes to topple Mrs Jones? Look, I hope so. I really hope so, huh? Ah, ah, eyes I'm on you. you eyes on you. Uh, let's see how you got on, <laughs> Diane. Good luck. OK, thank you. The other pros have told me so much about this pro challenge and it does sound very competitive, so it's not like I've been practising um, every day for a few hours at all. <laughs> Hi, Diane, <laughs> and welcome to your first Strictly Pro Challenge. Thank you very much. How Thank are you feeling? You. I'm feeling slightly nervous, but I'm super excited. Not competitive at all, I just really want to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot at stake. So no pressure. No pressure at all. <laughs> Please take your position on the dance floor. Thank you very much. For your official attempt, starting in three, two, one, go. Fifteen seconds. Good. Keep it up, Diane. Come on. It's good. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> good, good, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right, actually, I'm all right. I'm fitter than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looked pretty good from where I was sitting. Oh, thank How about you. you Bill? Yeah, great. There was one fluff at the end, but actually, that was really good. It was a little good. fluff. I did feel that one. Yeah, but you really did keep the action going there. Yeah. Very good. Oh, Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Well, fingers crossed that uh, it's enough. <laughs> really well done. Well thank done. you. Well done. It was so much fun, and I got some really good feedback from the judges. So, um, yeah, other pros, watch your back, because Redo's coming. Oh, Diane, oh. now Bill, Dima and Ian there seem to be very encouraging. They don't yeah. really give a lot away. Uh, do you like the look of your swivels there? It wasn't too bad. Yeah, there were, at the end, I got a little bit tired. I could see that, but oh, we'll see. We'll we see. Shall Tell see. me. Tell okay, me. Okay, Diane, this is the legal bit that none of these people can get enough of. <laughs> After each of the professionals had made their attempt, the footage was watched back by adjudicators in slow motion to verify every single swivel to make sure they were all accurate. Okay, 19 is the score to yes. beat. Everyone breathe. Diane Barcel, in 30 seconds, you completed... <laughs> 21! <laughs> All of them were legal. <sighs> Diane, your score is going down under. You had three disqualified. Oh! Giving you a score of 18. <laughs> oh, she never going to beat you again. Second on the leaderboard. How do you feel, Diane? How do you feel? Um, Actually gutted. She's livid. I'm She's gutted. livid. But it was a great I can't attempt. Call home now, can I? <laughs> I can't tell Diane Barcelona. Oh, Katya <laughs> oh, may need darting tonight. Uh, next up, it's time to celebrate the.